and uh, then uh, then uh, I did, uh, organized some uh, global conferences. We did the first house church conference in 2009 in Delhi, and we had 200 representatives from uh, 37 countries, and uh, that's when it sort of blew up in the 1040 million countries about this house church concept. Uh, basically, we taught them this is uh, uh, the Great Commission is the last command of Jesus, and uh, all the other commands of Jesus are encapsulated within this commandment. You can teach uh, when you say go and make disciples go. You can teach the whole Luke 10 concept of going two by two, finding the person of peace, and eating with them, and, and uh, sharing the whole doing signs and wonders and then sharing the gospel, discipling them, planting a church right there. So uh, this kind of, uh, almost the whole thing, uh, baptisms, baptism was a big, big, big stronghold because it had been hijacked by the clergy uh, and to uh, get it back into the hands of the ordinary believer was, was quite a challenge and lots of other things, the baggage, excess baggage that the, the church was carrying, uh, the buildings, the pulpit, the, the uh, tithing, the sermons, the monologue, uh, that kind of thing that was restricting church growth and multiplication. We uh, help people to say no uh, from the rising of the sun, any time, any place, any gender, any number, Anyone, anywhere, any place you can, uh, you can do that. Uh, wherever two or three gather together in His name is a congregation. And we define church as a place where disciples are made, baptized, equipped, and sent out. So this uh, redefining the church, complete with its function, really started bearing fruit. And uh, uh, we've done several global meetings since then. We have women's meeting, and a surprising one was when we did for the Muslims. And we had representatives from 30 countries uh, in that Muslim conference, for all uh, strange countries, and uh, that's caught on. So we're very happy that um, uh, this is what is happening, uh, defining the church, defining a disciple, who is a disciple, and uh, defining, uh, uh, taking out the excess baggage from the structure, the, Luther, the Luther's change was a theological change in which he brought out the point that salvation through grace by faith. Uh, but um, he didn't do anything about the structure. The buildings continued, the priests continued, and all the other rituals continued in the churches. Uh, God has helped us to uh, prune the church from all these excess baggage. And uh, now, and the house church concept has caught on uh, in many places and everybody is uh, beginning to understand uh, what, uh, uh, what the church is and uh, initially we had a lot of hostility against the house church uh, from the traditional church. We didn't have as much problem from the uh, outsiders as much we had from the traditional church. Uh, but I think slowly people are getting the idea and it's so uh, good to hear from the pulpits now people preaching the Great Commission, which is a huge, huge change. Uh, what we saw in these years, just in the last decade or decade and a half, say 15 years back, is uh, the change that has taken place in this country. Uh, the southern part of India had very high density of Christians. Uh, Kerala had about 19% uh, and uh, Tamil Nadu had about 10% and Andhra had about 7%. But once you came up north, it was uh, not even one digit, it was not even 1% uh, Christianity. In some, as you went north and north, uh, in UP and in the Himachal and in in Gujarat, Rajasthan, all these places, the, except for tribals, uh, Christianity was pretty unknown. Uh, Haryana state has 0 0.01%. The UP, Uttar Pradesh, has 0.6%. 
Madhya Pradesh also has 0.6% Christianity. And some places like Bihar were known as a graveyard of missions. And Kashmir, of course, has 0% Christianity at that point. But all this has now changed. And when you ask people who I trust uh, and ask them the significance, people are beginning to say, in my district of, uh, say, 2,000 villages, it's difficult to find a village where there is no Christian presence. I don't mean by that there is a church there or organized Christianity, but we will all find two or three families, four or five families in some places. Some places, of course, is much more. Uh, Andhra Pradesh probably has made the maximum progress where 95% of the villages now have uh, Christian presence. And, um, and uh, UP, and, and I was in a place, uh, I talked to one of the key leaders, he says there are at least 30,000 house churches through his ministry. There's another lady over there who says about 9,000 house churches through her ministry. And the Bhojpuri people, there's a huge response. So, UP, out of the over 100,000 villages, uh, oh, well, at least 40, 50, or even 60 percent villages or more have now Christian presence, which is a huge, huge change. And I was in Himachal, uh, which is up on the foothills of Himalaya, there are lots of hills and valleys, hills and valleys. And I was talking to the lady who started the movement over there. And she said when she came there was zero percent Christianity here. But now she said it's so nice to hear Christian music floating out of the hills and valleys early in the morning. People put on their loudspeakers and sing. So it's a huge, huge change. India is changing. India is not the same India that we used to talk about. There still remains a huge, a lot of work that needs to be done. We are only sort of reaching 50-60% of the villages geographically, but there are nations and tons and tribes, uh, hundreds of them, if not thousands, who still need to be reached. But um, the, trends, the trends are healthy. The trend is that uh, church is not only talking about church growth and increasing in numbers in a, in a particular congregation, but is uh, church, we are talking about multiplication of our focus has been on multiplication, multiply, 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 because God, this mandate God gave from the very beginning to Adam, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over it. So that mandate has never changed. And Jesus Christ, when He gave the last command, the last, the great commission to go and make disciples of all nations, uh, that command is uh, very much the, uh, our focus and we are uh, making it go viral and, and churches are picking up. But the good news is